Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Well, today is actually not a bad day. I mean, we've seen some coins at the moment just breaking out of their um, corrective wave patterns and I'm going to update in, um, in the individual videos. However, not really a change uh, within the last 24 hours, as you can see. Yeah? While we can currently see some temporary upside on some crypto charts, um, it is too early to really confirm if this is a uh, sustainable breakout. Um, while some coins are actually moving, Bitcoin isn't doing much. I mean, we see Dogecoin move um, that broke out here recently. But anyway, overall, still sideways movement um, with a few coins starting to move. Bitcoin not doing much. Therefore, this will be quite a, a short update. Um, overall, yeah, you will remember Bitcoin. We talked here about a few scenarios uh, in this particular video. Let's just take a look at um, the main scenario. Um, yes, a bearish. So this is the bullish scenario. I still give it a 60% probability. Maybe I'll find on the weekend some time to talk about why I do not see this here as a bear flag. There are a few points and uh, the key points are basically around the difficulty that any Elliott waiver will have to count this particular wave as a, um, as a wave four as a corrective wave pattern in a wave four, because the corrective wave would assume we came down in a wave three. We're now moving up in a wave four. We're coming down in a five. Extremely, extremely difficult to count it that way. Um, you would possibly break some rules or you would have to force a certain wave count, which is never a good sign. So for me, this looks much more impulsive and I might be able to dive into this in a little bit more detail. Uh, on the weekend because it will take possibly like 20 minutes 30 minutes to explain that again only if i find the time really but for now it's important to understand it is extremely difficult to count an ex uh, to count a corrective wave pattern into this for example a w x y x z which i mentioned before a few weeks ago is basically not possible anymore um not easily yeah because we basically moved up too high um, another possibility is a WXY pattern, but even here we've already moved above two key targets and the last one remaining here is 25,700. That might be possible, but also again less likely, therefore I give it only a 40% probability. Um, in terms of the bullish scenario, which I currently give a 60% probability, we can assume that we started obviously the new impulse from down here, which means the trend has changed to the upside. Now again, it's not guaranteed in any way and I'm still allowing here for lower levels with a 40% probability, but um, we can be carefully optimistic. That remains the case. We moved up in a one, we came down in a two. We're now in that wave three. Within the wave three, we've done another one, two setup. And we are also here in a wave three now because the wave two was complete. And within that wave three, we've just done another uh, wave one and we're coming down here in a two. And I'm still waiting to get into that green area where I see this wave two ideally get into and to reverse back to the upside. Yeah, at the moment you can see we're sort of coiling up just around and dancing on this ascending trend line, which is um, part of this, well, you could call it a bear flag, which I don't really want to call it, but uh, this trend line on the channel, okay? Um, and we're just sort of dancing on that. So you can see how relevant that level is. Um, in my opinion, what we've done here most recently and the most imminent wave count we have created here from the low at 20,700. By the way, a very important low. We need to hold this level at 20,700 to maintain the current probabilities of 60% for the bullish scenario. The condition is that we need to hold this level. So for now, wave one to the upside, two down, three up, four down, five up. In a diagonal pattern, you can have those waves overlap. Basically, it means a leading diagonal. It is a first wave of a larger impulse to the upside. It is the first wave of the third wave that I just mentioned in the beginning. Here, a wave one, and now we are in this wave two. In the wave two, you have three main waves. You have a wave A, a wave B, and a wave C. In my opinion, we have only just done the wave A. Uh, that has to do a bit with speculation here. I mean, these micro counts, they are fragile. They can move around. They can get invalidated fairly easily. But what we can see here at the moment, we came down in what I believe is a five wave move. We would now expect a wave B to the upside. It is looking like if this is a five wave move down, then it was a zigzag pattern. 
or it is a six zigzag which is unfolding where you have a five three five pattern in a wave a uh, in a wave a you have five waves in a wave b you have three and then in a wave c you have five um, based on that that we know it is possibly a zigzag you would assume that the wave b does not retrace too much yeah um, in contrast to a flat correction where you would have the wave b going much higher so here we are um, looking here at the retracement area between 24 point or 24,350 between the 38.2 percent fib level and the 61.8 at 61 point uh, sorry 64,680 dollars yeah so somewhere here i would ideally expect the wave b to get into um, and then we would expect a wave c to come down right in a wave c and that would finish off the wave two. And I see this area between 22,430 and 23,480. Anywhere in here, I would expect the price to move to the upside. And of course you can use in addition for, for example, here's some structural support levels down here. We had, yeah, 22,430, that is the low anyway. Um, here we had another low, the wave uh, five low or the higher level wave two low which was here at 22,700. So keep an eye on these levels and that might um, hold support here, yeah. Um, also, you could see that just as a bear flag at the moment, yeah, we're coming down sideways, maybe slightly up and then down. So I don't think we've seen here the end of the wave two correction. Um, ideally, you want to remain here below that two four trend line basically yeah which i can draw a little bit more accurately to be honest um so in this wave b yeah we would expect that retracement to stay below that two four line trend line okay um so yeah moving up into this green area and then come down and then move up in a wave three and that could take us to thirty thousand us dollars that wave three yeah roughly and um, as per the current wave count after that i would expect a wave four down and a wave five up and then that would complete the wave three in yellow then a wave four in yellow down and a wave five up that would only complete the wave three in pink that's how i see it at the moment um, if we get new price information that might change for now i'm going with that and that's basically the update update for bitcoin i can give you now yeah so hopefully you like the update if you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.